Ah, all right, we're ready to rock. Uh, I've had this, uh, no, it's not coronavirus. Not yet, at least. I've noticed recently that a lot of people on LinkedIn are afraid to share their thoughts and their interests with the world, either through articles or video or, uh, you know, uh, posts, anything like that. And the reason why they're afraid is because there seems to be this mentality in corporate America, this stronghold in corporate America, where People feel as if they're gonna get fired for posting or creating social media content that falls just outside of what their day job is. And there's this mentality held by employees that the company owns us. And I do not believe that. I do not subscribe to that at all. I think that we should, in 2020, be allowed to post whatever we want, things that interest us, things that get us excited. We should be able to talk about those things even if they're not related to our day job and especially if they're not related to our day job and not have any repercussion or not have any fear of repercussion. In fact, our employers should celebrate us for having diversity of thought. They should celebrate us for having a personal brand and adding all different types of layers to who we are. You know, we go to work and it's like, we feel that we're this like two dimensional piece of paper, that we are just a, a, a walking set of bullet points. And I think it's such bullshit because, you know, it's like nobody wants to know about like anybody else's lives. Nobody, nobody can talk about what they're passionate outside of work because they, 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 they're worried that they're not gonna seem like a loyalist to the company. Like this is, it's such an old school mentality and it's still around. And if you're not talking shit about your employer, which you shouldn't, if they are the ones supporting you with a paycheck, if you're not talking shit, and if you're not disclosing any proprietary information, then if I wanna talk about gardening for God's sake, uh, you know, on LinkedIn, I should be able to do it without anybody uh, having any problems. And so when I have people asking me how they can create a personal brand, they, they, they're always asking like, well, what, what type of content should I create? And they often default to, well, I should talk about project management or whatever role that they have. And they may not necessarily have expressed that fear to me, but there's this underlying fear that, that a lot of people around me are having about this topic. Like they want to create a personal brand, but they're fearful that if they jump out of that swim lane, then everyone's gonna judge them and they're gonna, gonna really be in some hot water, right? Or they may not be employable. But with the reality in 2020 is that if you talk about things on LinkedIn often about the passions that you have, the opportunities will flow to you because LinkedIn is the world's largest search engine. You are gonna attract people into your world who believe what you believe and that's, that's so incredible when you think about it. You're like, if I've been talking about mindset, I've been talking about living simply, these are things that, that are you know, values that I have, right? Like I've been talking about you know, not following the status quo. Like those are a lot of the posts that I create on LinkedIn. And people are always like, oh, well, John, like, aren't you worried that you're gonna get fired? You know, and the same questions that are coming to me about, you know, people who are trying to figure out how to create their own personal brands. And I'm like, no, this is 2020 guys. LinkedIn is the platform where you can showcase whatever you want to the world. And the world will respond back to you with opportunities that are perfectly tailored to you. You know, it's funny, like Goldman Sachs CEO, there was some article uh, like a couple months ago and I saw and he had this DJ headphones on. He was like DJing to this massive crowd. And at first, you would look at him as a two-dimensional resume of bullet points and be like, yeah, Goldman Sachs CEO, buttoned up, uh, achievement, 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 this is all he does, and, and that's it, right? But when you find out that this passion exists for this person, 
that leads to more respect for the person. They're not just their job title, right? And like, that's where we get hung up. Like everybody's like, oh, well, I just have to be my job title on LinkedIn and that's not the case. I'm going on a rant here, guys, but I, I just am so passionate about this topic because LinkedIn is changing the game with placing the right candidate to the right company. And the way that that really happens, the way that happens in the future of work is when somebody talks about all the rich things that they care about that makes them three-dimensional, that makes them no longer two-dimensional of just resume bullet points, right? Those things are what make you stand out as a candidate. Not the bullshit words that everybody deviates to on their resumes that makes everybody look like the exact same vanilla shell shit show with things like, um, you know, results oriented and team player and all this stuff. It's like, no, who are you at your core? What makes you tick? And the recruiters are gonna find you for it, guys. So that that is the key takeaway in this video. Be bold, this is 2020. If you wanna create a personal brand around things that you care about, you should just do it. Enough people around you band together with people who also wanna do it and just get out there and start creating content on those things and amazing opportunities will open up to you. That's it guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.